Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today we're going to take a look at cell phone headband flashlight. Wow, I felt like I was doing some sort of weird Simon Says game. It's a memory game. Cell phone headband flashlight. What three objects will get you through the apocalypse? Cell phone headband flashlight. My name is Jackson Mezzardo. I'm the owner and CEO of JL Electronics, also the inventor of the headband flashlight for cell phone. My name is Deborah. After we came up with our idea... Wait a fucking minute, Deborah. You didn't come up with the headband flashlight for cell phone. Jackson did. We went to a graphic design company and we were able to design our product. And finally, Global Sources made the product for us. It comes fully ready, and I can demonstrate exactly what our product can do. Oh my god. Is she gonna show us how to use a flashlight or a fleshlight? The headband is neoprene has a soft cushion, and is able to absorb sweat. It will also give superior head support and comfort. The production quality is all over the place. You got, you got support us on Kickstarter over there. You got JP Electronics, PJJM Electronics. What even the fuck is that? Peanut butter, butter jelly man juice electronics. Uh, and then, and then you got a green screen in the background. Like, the fucking green screen. Why do you need a green screen in a standard room? It's not like you're green screening in something that you couldn't have behind you. It's just, just it's like a nice looking office. It's like you couldn't lease out a nice looking office. It seems as though you have lighting, you have a green screen. I mean, surely you could just fucking say, can we fucking film something in here? It will also give superior head support and comfort. It has a zipper for safety, and the adjustable belt can fit any head size or arm. This is why you shouldn't let the youth make your Kickstarter videos, okay? The youth, they don't know what's up, all right? They, they'll add all sorts of crazy effects and shit to your, to your layer. They, they took the, the, her fucking layer and just added all these weird transitions to her layer and her layer alone, or it's just like flips around, flashes in and out, some weird bloom transition. All of it's fucking really bad. <laughs> really bad. I'm also kind of curious why she's dressed the way she is. Like it's like she's wearing like a collared shirt with a fucking tie, but it's not a tie. It's like a scarf that's meant to look like a tie. What do you, is this some sort of like sexy stripper, but like I'm professional, but I'm not? Like I don't know what you're going for. It's like I'm mm, I'm a businesswoman, but I like to kick back every now and again and enjoy a brewski. I'm a working woman's worker. It can adjust to go on your arm. Like this. So we're gonna have all these weird jump cuts, but we're not gonna jump cut past the part where she's fumbling around with it, trying to turn it into an armband, a flashlight armband. Why, why, why the fuck? Are you, are you jump cutting everywhere else, but not the part where she's fumbling around with a flashlight armband? Like, why? You're probably wondering what the problem with the cell phone headband flashlight is. Well, the problem is that you can get a fucking headlamp for six bucks. You can also get a, a, a phone armband for six bucks as well. This comes out to a total of twelve dollars. But e -dupes, what is so wrong with the headband flashlight? I would use that like all the time. There is nothing inherently wrong with the headband flashlight for cell phone. You can put your cell phone in the pouch and use it and it would fucking work, right? The, the problem is, how often do you find yourself in this situation to, to warrant that? And wouldn't you just rather have a fucking headlamp that is cheaper than this shit? See, the problem is, like, they're rolling things into one, and it's an inferior version of the things that are already out there. So that is basically where this argument stands, is a headlamp attaches to your head much better and doesn't weigh a thousand pounds on your fucking forehead, okay? And it works, it just works better. Uh, an armband, it, a normal armband that you put your cell phone in so you can jog and listen to music, probably also better than this. So they're just combining all the shitty aspects into one, so it's like, you can do everything with this, but not really everything, and you don't need to do it all that often. But e -dupes, you will not always have headlamp with you. You might not have headlamp with you, so how are you going to use a headlamp? Well, that's a great question. Uh, you're not always going to have the headband flashlight for cell phone. So in every situation, you're going to need to bring shit with you. If you expect 
to, I don't know, do work under a fucking car and you need to see what's going on, well, then maybe you should, you know, just invest in a headlamp. I think that would probably be a better use of your money than this. You know, it's $6. The cell phone headband flashlight will set you back $12, which isn't completely unreasonable. I think uh, people would be willing to pay that price for something like that. But, you know, would people be willing to buy this product over a headlamp that costs $6 or an armband that costs $6? Like, just fucking... You don't need to be multi-tool guy everywhere you go. People will only be as utilitarian as society allows. You know, fanny packs used to be quite popular, right? Fanny packs, they blew up, man. And think about it. A fucking fanny pack. Hands fucking free purse, okay? Hands free purse that is right fucking there. Anytime you need fucking anything, it's right in your fanny pack. How many people you see walking around with fanny packs today? No one. Is it objectively superior to a purse? Yes. Is it objectively superior to fucking pockets? Yes. It's right fucking there. You can take it off with one little clip. You can set it down. It, like... Benny packs are incredible. But no one uses them because they are gay. There is a redeeming quality of this Kickstarter project, and that is they aren't trying to pimp you shitty products like, uh, you know, a t-shirt that says cell phone headband and a ho horse hat in a, in a, in a jog strap on the t-shirt, you know, or, or mugs for that matter. So they got that going for them. But uh, unfortunately, they don't have much else to offer. You know, they just solely offer headbands, and that's fucking it. But you can buy different amounts of headbands. If you pledge $48 or more, ladies and gentlemen, be the first ones in this whole entire planet to own four cell phones, headbands, flashlights. Why are you listing it off like that? Why don't you have a fucking name for it, like Strap Go? Call it fucking Head Strap. Call it Z Strap. I don't know what you want to fucking call it. Come up with something catchy. You know, you, you, you use Asian name like Hulu, or uh, Roku, or Ru, uh, Rutu. Call, call it the Voto. Call it the cru Crouton. Call it the... Vo uh, call it the uh, Mocoroco. If you call it the Mocoroco, people will be like, Oh, wow. You branded this really well, the Mocoroco. Fucking idiots. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been another episode of Kickstarter Crap, taking a look at headband, flashlight, armband, headband, uh, fleshlight, whatever the fuck it's called. Remember to hit that like button, remember to hit that subscribe button, remember to tune in next time when I push down a pencil dick. Purple way of saying advertising, advertising. Yes, so uh, instead of having uh, a woman show you her, her bra that, that is just plain blue, uh, she's going to show you her bra and it's going to have a fucking monster logo on it. Celebrity editions. What the fuck does celebrity editions mean? Well, presumably it means they're going to have a celebrity model and show their lingerie. Push down a pencil dick. What are you, what are you, what are you looking at me for, pencil dick? I'll push down, then I'll rape you. Yeah, pencil dick. Flip around.